Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I am streaming this live on Twitch at this very moment. I'm there every night at 6 p.m. Pacific. You can join me and the rest of the community geeking out about one thing or another. Me? I'm usually geeking out about software. I, I'm a huge software enthusiast. Uh, in the world of technology, I would say software is where I get most excited. And, and that, that probably makes me an anomaly. Like, if you were to compare me uh, against uh, other uh, people who talk about technology trends, uh, I would probably stick out like a, a very sore thumb or sore lip because I bit it earlier when doing the candy corn challenge with the uh, community on Twitch. Um, it's it's going to heal. My, my, my passion for software ha has always been there, going all the way back uh, to uh, even before the days of Locker Gnome. What drove my interest with PCs wasn't so much what they looked like, it was the software that you could run on these PCs that enabled them to do one thing or another. I got genuinely excited about that. And so I'm always reading or listening to news in the software sphere. And when I talk about software, I don't just mean downloadable software, I mean like platforms. You know, websites, that, 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 that websites are a form of software, platforms are a form of software. Uh, I, I'm always watching for software, changes, updates. I get excited. I actually, you know what? I'm probably the only person on the planet who reads change logs for everything. Anything I install, I love knowing what's changed. I love that. I eat it up. Not, not physically, because, you know, they're, they're bits and bites. Uh, not many calories in that, but uh, you know, anyway, I, uh, I always look for changes in software just to know whether or not, uh, I'm going to change me personally, uh, an approach to something that I'm doing because, uh, that's what software does is, is it, it potentially changes you or the, the things that you do, the things that you're able to do. Hardware does that as well, but the software is the thing that makes the hardware sing. Like, that's why I'm always looking for a good software experience. Because that, that, that just, it gets me going. Like, it's, that's, that's, that's life to me. So, today, Microsoft finally rolled out, at least to uh, the Windows Insiders on the beta ring. I'm not on that. Uh, I'm, I'm just on the stable uh, build on, on the, the, the Intel Nook PC that I'm using to uh, live stream and record this particular video. Uh, Windows 11 has been working fine. And so I, uh, I welcome any changes, any feature additions. I, I really want Microsoft to work on the design a bit more. Uh, but today they rolled out in, 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 in early form with a limited array of uh, apps. We used to call them programs. Uh, back in the day, uh, Android apps uh, that that you would also be able to find in uh, Amazon's uh, App Store for their platforms, uh, they've now been basically ported over to run natively on Windows. And so now Windows has the ability to run even more software than it was running before. That was the thing that back in the day, that was my primary motivation to use windows i mean everyone's got a backstory right like well i grew up on a mac or i grew up on windows i knew of macs and i used like apple twos in, in school back in the 80s but you know I, I i ended up you know finding my way to dos because that was the pc that we had at home uh and, and home, when home computing was a thing and then when I went to uh, 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 college, or even uh, even before then, uh, in high school, I did stuff with, with software. That was the basic programming days. But in, in college, with the internet, uh, it, it just unleashed this new world of being able to download uh, new programs. Don't want to call them apps in, in this era. Uh, that suddenly would make uh, a new thing possible with the same hardware. And that was to, that was just, I love that. It was a thrill. Like it was, it was more than a hobby. It was, it was a thrill, and it genuinely still is. I do love apps. I, I do have an addiction. I don't have all the apps installed, but when, when platforms do something like this, they extend their library. So in many ways, Microsoft is making moves, not just uh, updating 
the Windows look and feel, and hopefully that'll be, you know, stem to stern, you know, everything, top to bottom, uh, that'll happen over time with Windows 11. That's what what they, they, they should be doing, and I believe what they're laying the groundwork work for. But the fact that their App Store accepts pretty much any Windows app you could imagine, uh, and now they're extending that to support apps that previously only ran on Amazon's devices, Android apps, not full-on Google Android apps. Uh, that, 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 th those bits have been uh, stripped away. Uh, but bringing Android apps to the desktop could potentially really make... I mean, Windows is already a juggernaut, but the, uh, uh, the, the promise of being able to run darn near anything you could possibly think of on Windows without being a developer, without being able to develop yourself, having a very rich ecosystem of apps, now being able to extend it to what has been the, the hotness in app development uh, in recent years. You've, you've had two contenders. You've had iOS and Android. Those, those are your two choices. Uh, I've run Android apps on Chrome OS. They've run okay. I can't say that they've run very well, but that could be because Google hasn't necessarily, you know, worked them out all the way through, like, to, 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 to make them be fully compatible. You know you're not running an Android device, it's just, it's kind of got Android compatibility, right? Uh, I, uh, Microsoft, or sorry, Apple uh, gives certain Mac users the ability to run iOS apps on the desktop, but I don't know if that user experience is any better because you're talking about two completely different paradigms. You're talking about uh, a, a, a Mac that's largely not touch optimized and iOS which is all touch optimized so you're talking about two radically different user experiences that they're, they're 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 trying to do on their end Windows is interesting because it is built for both touch interfaces like Android is as well as pointy clicky interfaces like your 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 traditional laptop without a touch screen so uh bringing Android apps to Windows is an interesting prospect uh, in fact, you know, I, I may very well, uh, you know, take the approach with my Windows experience to specifically look for the Android app first if it was made for, let's say, a platform like they, that I use, right? Uh, that, that if I'm looking for an app, rather than maybe a native app which may not be built. I may be better served by using an app that may have been built for Android, maybe a little more up-to-date, and, and certainly something that's more, mm, that's that's designed like an app, you know, and an app, like a smartphone app is like this big versus like a Windows app that, you know, what is a Windows app? This is this big, this big, but it's Windows app, I, I, there may be Windows apps that are like this, but usually the Android apps or, or iOS apps, your smartphone apps are optimized for smaller screens. So I always love the idea of bringing those smaller screen apps onto the larger screen. So it is good to see Microsoft do this to expand their program ecosystem their app ecosystem throwing more software down the pike i'd expect that that we're going to see more and more of these uh apps uh coming that way um and certainly this may even spur developers to develop for amazon's platform or or, 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 or better their android app experience to come to the windows devices because there are a lot of windows devices in the world still uh and uh yeah i i i welcome an opportunity to try something new uh, to install more apps, although I, I probably should curb that addiction. I, I promise. I, I, just one more app, That's I, and then I'll stop. I'll stop installing after the, the next app that I install. For sure.